Y'all, today was another mother ducking day, okay? I, when I mean it was a mother ducking day, I, who, I be so ready to hop in this car and go home every day. And this is what y'all gotta do. As teachers, I understand that you have a load, that you have to take stuff home because you're not finished, that you're trying your hardest to get these grades in, and that you have a million and one things to do, including calling parents. Baby, don't let them take up your space. I'm telling y'all right now, some of the things that I have learned that I just do not care. I do not care if I have a million and one things that I have to get finished. Guess who's not about to stay after school? Me. Guess who's not about to take homework? Home. Me. I'm not calling no parents after I leave the school. I'm not doing none of that. Because my peace, my sanity, my family time, all of that matters, okay? You have one life. A very short life you could die tomorrow and all you have left is your family and your friends and the memories that you had in your life what I'm telling you is if you are a teacher stop taking your stuff home I don't care about the if and buts or not you have to discipline yourself anything outside of your contractual hours if it's not in the contract if it say you are supposed to leave at 4 o'clock 5 o'clock 345 whatever that's it that's the end of it I'm not talking to no parents on my way out. I'm sorry, I gotta go, I will talk to you later. I'm not doing no homework. I'm not about to stop at the principal's office after school. No, I'm sorry, it's four o'clock. It's time for me to go. I'm not doing none of it. I have to cook. I have to please, I have to clean. I have to do a million and one other things that does not involve work. I go to work to work and when work is over work is over this is why we be getting so pissed off because we work from nine to five nine to six nine to seven nine to eight nine to ten nine to twelve nine to eleven and they gotta wake up and do it all over again no 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 ma'am we have to break the matrix something is going on something is wrong here if i'm not getting paid i'm not doing it why are you doing it? As a teacher, I really want to ask y'all, why are y'all doing it? First year teachers, okay, I get it. It's your first year, you didn't know better. But why are you doing it? And why are you at it? Why are you buying supplies? Why are we buying supplies? I'm not buying another mother ducking thing, okay? If the school does not supply it, your kid will not have it. Because guess what? I'm not spending my check to go broke for your kid. We love your children, we do, we want them to learn, but you as a parent need to step up. The school as a whole need to step up. I'm not, I repeat, I'm not spending another thing, waiting on tax to come around and have all these receipts. Or you can build a school, build a school, be like, hey, I need a reimbursement, and I need a reimbursement this week because guess what? I spend my money this week. Run me my check. There's so many things that I could sit here and talk about. <laughs> run me my money, run me my time, run me my effort. Why is there not more effort by the administration to step in and do stuff? Do you know what administration does? Do you know how much they get paid to be administration? No person in their right mind would want to be a teacher unless they like absolutely love the kids and want to help. But no person in their right mind would do what they do now if they knew how much administration paid and what exactly they do. If all I got to do is pick the teacher, if all I got to do is pick the teacher and I'm getting paid like 80, 90, 100, ca what? We got the same, if not more, schooling? preposterous I've been bamboozled somebody sold me a dream when it came down to teaching they really did they was like it's wonderful you help the kids save the children feed the needy no child left behind everybody's getting left behind everybody's been left behind the parents were left behind a long time ago and now their kids is in the back of the barrel and we just trying to pull them up that's some bull some BS it's just some BS. And I'm sitting here randomly and talking on my way to work because it really is some BS, y'all. Like, I love kids. 
I love my students, even the ones that get on my nerves, even the ones that make me want to knock them like upside the head sometimes. I love my students. They parents, maybe not so much. Not all of them. Some of them I'll be like, ooh, mm, mm, ooh, that's a little abusive. Hold up. Okay. And then some of them I'll be like, mm, 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 I'm never calling you again. And then some of them I'll be like, yes. Yes, get them. Get them. You ever had a kid that you just absolutely just... You, you just want to know what's wrong. You just want to know why they don't care. You just want to know, like, what can you do to pull them out of whatever funk they're in to make them understand that education is important and that they absolutely can learn. You ever had a kid like that? And then you have a parent-teacher conference and you meet the parent and all of a sudden your worry is not that anymore. All of a sudden your worry is, what's your home life like? Are you okay at home? Do you need a hug? Like, what, what can I do to protect you? Because, Jesus, if you don't get it here, you ain't never going to get it. I can already. You ever had a kid where you can foresee that they're going to get kicked out the house early? Because their parents are just, their parents are their parents, man. It's not, uh, you know why teachers talk about parents so much? is because we look at y'all. We see y'all. We see y'all more than like anybody else see y'all. Cause somebody in y'all family and somebody in your friend circle just be letting y'all do whatever. And they don't ever tell you what's wrong. They don't tell you that you got a mental disability and you probably need to get that checked out. They don't tell you that, you know, you got a learning disability and you probably should go get that checked out. They don't tell you that you abusing your kid and y'all probably should stop it. Like for, I don't know who the parents know, but some of these parents I'll be like, I ain't not. Do I gotta call CPS? No? Yes? No? Yes? Maybe? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Like, it's so much. It's so much. I feel like I do so much talking. I feel like I do so much talking and getting talked to and getting talked at by teacher, parent, and student. <laughs> it's so much. Oh my God. If you're a teacher, baby, this is, this may not be your cup of tea. This may not be it anymore, okay? Maybe in the beginning, things were great. I keep telling people, the schools of yesterday is not the schools of today, especially if you work at a charter school, baby. If you work at a charter school, you might as well go ahead and let that die. The dream is dead. These charter schools ain't worth nothing. <laughs> and if you work at a public school, I don't know, you might have it a little bit better. And if you work at a private school, I can't really talk about those because I never worked at a private school before. But it seemed like it should be better if people are paying. You know, better food, better staff, better bathrooms. Schools are dirty. And the food that they give y'all kids is trash. It's like two steps away from prison food. I don't I don't know what, what that's about. Like it's nowhere near healthy. I mean like bring Michelle Obama back and then like add like um Gordon Ramsey into the mix and like there we go. That would be a good a good school breakfast, dinner, lunch situation. But the shit we got now, baby, that's... Them kids don't eat that. It's a waste of good food, okay? I, I ain't gonna say it's good food, but it's a waste of food. These kids don't eat that food. They don't eat that breakfast, they don't eat that lunch. And the stuff that they do give them got sugar, high corn, food toast, all types of stuff. And then they drink milk with everything. Why do we drink milk with everything? We know that it's bad. The Black Panthers didn't die for this. <laughs> We, they didn't die for this to give everybody free school lunch. This ain't it. Like, where, where's the good stuff? Vegetables, fruit, salad, um, juice. Everybody has a turn of milk now. What, what are we doing? <laughs> give them an apple. And why is the food cold? I've literally seen these kids eat cold waffles. And then a teacher get yelled at because they brought a microwave for the kids to use. Do you eat cold waffles? No, ma'am. No, sir. Why are we giving them cereal every day? And it's like cereal with all the sugar in the world. And then we wonder why the kids are on tears. <laughs> what do you mean? That's all we feed them. Y'all don't do no better. And then they eat Takis all day. And we just let them eat. Like, what? Ugh. Ugh. Imagine your kid on a sugar rush for eight hours. But then multiply that by like 30. This is what these kids are on. Just, just dyes and, and sugar. Man. Teaching is interesting. It's different every day. Every day is a headache. <laughs> every day is a headache. It's something new. Like, oh my God, I didn't even know this bothered me until today. <laughs> Don't be a teacher, y'all. 
Just, just don't do it.